Hi guys, so if you read my blog you'll know that I'm going to start doing YouTube videos, so this is my first one. Um, a little bit nervous, feeling a bit weird, talking to myself. Um, <laughs> but here we go. Uh, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing this one on my monthly favourites. I've got a couple of things lined up, um, body stuff, face stuff, makeup. Just a couple of bits that I've really enjoyed using this month. So First favourite of the month has to be Maybelline's Dream Fresh BB Cream. Um, if you're not used to the whole BB cream um, that's coming around just recently, it's meant to be like a tinted moisturiser, but it's got a little bit more coverage. Um, it's usually got a primer, tinter, a primer and moisturiser, sorry, and like a sort of fixer. It lasts a bit longer than tinted moisturiser. Um, this one in particular, I've got in light. I've tried a couple of other ones, and I haven't been that big a fan of them. But this one's really nice. Um, it's got SPF 30 in it as well, which is always good. Um, it creates a natural glow, complements skin tone, um, hydrates all day, blurs imperfections, oil free, non greasy. Uh, it looks visibly smooth and feels fresh. Um, I've got mine in light. I'll give you. A, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. It's a little bit. It's thicker than a tinted moisturiser, but not quite as thick as a um, foundation. I don't know if you can see that just there. Um, it looks a little bit orangey when you first put it on your skin, which is a little bit daunting. Once you put it on um, and it's dried and soaked in, it feels really nice. It's quite a smooth, dewy look. Um, brightens your face quite a bit as well. I've been using it recently with um, a little bit of powder on top just to give it that bit of extra coverage and make it last a little bit longer. If you like sort of thicker foundations, quite heavy makeup, don't go for it. It's a it's a bit better than tinted moisturiser, but still only fairly light coverage, so it gives a nice base though, for foundation as well if you want to wear foundation one day too. Um at the moment it's $7.99 in boots. Um I think it is still on three for two with Maybelline at the moment. I'm not sure if that's across the store, if it's just Maybelline products, I can't remember. But yeah, definitely worth a try. Okay, so next sort of makeup y favourite of the month has to be the Makeup Academy, Academy Professional um, Eyeshadow Palette in Heaven and Earth. I've written a blog post on this recently if anyone's read it. Um, they're all sort of quite earthy, natural colours. Um, you get 12 in the set and you get like a little sponge applicator as well, but don't really use that. Um, there you go, I'll put that up to the camera and have a little look a bit better. Um, a lot of them, in fact I think all of them have got, yeah, all of them have got like a sort of primary glitter in it. They're all different sort of tones though, some are a bit goldy, some are brown, some have got like a sort of purpley tinge to them, they're really nice. Um, if you want to see proper swatches, they're on the blog post anyway. Um, I've got one of all of them on there so you can see it. Uh, I've been wearing this quite a lot, I always wear natural colours anyway, or browns. Um, but this one's caught my eye quite a bit recently because so many bloggers have been writing about it. Um, it's so cheap, it's only £4 and you get 12 and they're actually really good quality eyeshadows for £4 sort of thing. Um, I've done quite a few things recently, um, I've got another Olymp the Olympics going for gold palette as well which I really like, I'm going to blog post on that soon. But if you like your sort of natural your browns, um, sort of maybe a little bit of sparkle, some of them have got a bit more sparkle than others so you can sort of adapt it for going out and maybe not just such a natural look. Um, but yeah, they're really nice, especially for the price as well. Um, I always use a base of, I use ground, uh, Max Groundwork uh, paint pot. Just gets some sort of a fairly light brown and just gives it that little bit of extra um, product to stick to. Just so that it doesn't fall away in the day. They've been really good actually, they haven't creased at all. Um, I haven't used a fixer on them yet, I haven't really needed to. So they've been really good. £4, you can't really go wrong, get them super drug uh, on the air. Um, Makeup Academy website and um, at the moment they're doing 25% off all orders over £10 which is brilliant and it's free postage as well so if you can't get down to Superdrug it might be worth going on the website and having a look and seeing what offers they've got. Okay next one is a lipstick from Maybelline. Uh, it's a new pop sticks. Um, I was a bit apprehensive to try these. They look a little bit jelly like so I'll show you this one. It's kind of see-through. Uh, one is in 080 in Cherry Pop. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells of cherries, which is the one reason I actually decided to buy it in the end. Um, I think there's five different ones you can get in the UK. Whether you can get them over in America, more of them like you can with the Revlon um, 
lip stains and um, lipsticks. Um, but they're so nice, you can get quite a few. They, they all smell quite fruity and fresh, um, really nice. The only downside is it doesn't seem to last that long, but there's always a tint, it's more of a tint than a lipstick, so there's always that tint there. I just like putting it on a bit more, um, just to give my lips a bit of moisture as well. So I sort of replaced my lip balm with this, just because it's so nice, it smells nice. Um, and it, this one's quite, quite like, um, I'll put it on my hand. It's kind of like a, a tangerine -y sort of red. It's quite bizarre, but it looks nice and I've got it on now. Um, I haven't put it on in the last hour or so, but um, it is really nice. It just gives your lips a bit of moisture instead of using like a, a lip, lip balm or something like that. So yeah, one of my uh, definite favourites. I might go and buy some more colours and see what they look like. Thing. Um, I've had this for absolutely ages, it's just an eyelash curler. Um, I was using a number seven heated one. Um, which is quite nice, it's just not the greatest styles for me, I prefer like the sort of scissor handle rather than a push up one. Uh, I found this one, just moved house and I came across this in one of my makeup boxes and I've just started using it again. It is a number seven one still, um, but it's one of the more sort of traditional ones where you sort of squeeze down and it pushes your eyelashes up. This is called, it's got curl in the title but they don't, I can't find it anywhere online so I don't know whether they stopped doing it and replaced it for the heated eyelashes eyelash curlers I'm not too sure but um it is a brilliant lifts your eyelashes really nicely and gives them a nice curl rather than what you can get sometimes with a sort of like angled eyelashes which is for me not a good look but these do really nice ones I normally do it in like three stages like one with the root of my lashes middle and then like the tips just to give them a nice curve and it sort of smooths them out a bit as well rather than just sort of lifting them up but yeah new favourite old favourite even just uh found it and remembered how much I liked it. My well, next favourite is actually something I think I may have taken from my mum's makeup bag a little while ago. Um, it's a cuticle conditioner by Onsen. Now again, I, th I know she got it over here but I can't find it anywhere in the UK but from like on eBay and things. Um, and it's about, I think it's about $17 in the US. You get like 30 mil pretty much, um, it's just quite nice, um, put it on your cuticles, rub them in, give it a bit of soap, it just gives me a lot of moisture, I have a really bad habit of um, sort of getting dry skin around my um, fingernails and then just playing with it, and it needs to stop, so I've started using this and it's been really nice actually along with a bit of um, moisture, like hand moisturiser, but these are really nice, the only thing I'm not too keen on is the smell, it's not bad, it's just not the kind of thing I like. It's a bit sort of flowery, I suppose. Um, but yeah, this is really quite nice. It comes with like a little pointed spout so you can just squeeze it onto your nails quite nicely. Um, and it sort of softens them out and makes them nice and moisturised. Last yeah. but not least is this. I got this in a set for Christmas. Um, and again, because I've moved house, I'm trying to get through all my little, little samples of things and like sachets. And this is one of the things I came across, I've forgotten how much I loved it, it's the Vanilla Delight from Lush Body Cream. It smells absolutely gorgeous, if you like vanilla obviously, but um, it's really nice on the skin. It's quite a thin cream, it's not that thick, but it's really good at moisturising, goes into the skin really nicely, sinks in. Um, but yeah, it's got a little bit of coconut in it as well, which is quite nice, which I love. It just um, gives it a bit more moisture, I suppose. But um, Definitely worth trying. Um, it's just one of um, Lush's standard ones. It's not a limited edition one, as far as I know. And I think they're all around sort of like the ten pound mark for um, like the bigger bottles. Just a, just a little hundred grams one because it came in a set. But yeah, really nice if you love vanilla. Absolutely love it. That's my monthly favourites all over and done with. I uh, hope you enjoyed my very first vlog. I'm hoping they'll get a little bit better and a bit more consistent. Um, any posts I've mentioned um, I'll post below and then you can have a look at them if you're interested. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time guys. Bye!